Hey guys, this is the second video in our desert rainwater corn project. Except for this video is not focusing on the corn because we did that last time. Um, it's focusing on the squash that we planted. As you can see, it's just right around back there. Uh, we'll do a quick little review. Um, this is all grown off in the southern Arizona desert uh, off of rainwater. Um, this is water harvested off the road. Uh, comes off that water bar, goes through a little mini check dam, mini check dam, that's just to take kind of a lot of the silt out. Comes in this big berm right here. And some of it goes into this overflow that is just reinforced with rock on the sides. And the other goes through that PVC diverter uh, pipe uh, into our retention pond for later watering. Uh, since we've pretty much harvested all the corn, we are focusing on the squash now and we're about to harvest uh, the rest of it, we got, uh, we've got a few of them, but we have a few left um, that I'll show you here in a second. So we'll walk over here. I've just been using these blue uh, barrels to uh, uh, keep some of this remaining water. As you can see from the previous videos, this uh, pond stays full during monsoons, but uh, we haven't had a rain in a while. So between the bucketing uh, and irrigating of the plants and uh, just normal evaporation, the water level's gone down quite a bit. Again, that was just some, uh, some timbers I used and a billboard tarp. If you turn that over, it's actually, uh, I think it was a Coors Light uh, billboard tarp. Uh, it holds water pretty well. Uh, basically just a cheap pond liner off of Craigslist. Here's one of the squash. This one doesn't have any fruit on it yet, but let's walk over to some that do and uh, they're not quite your normal squash they're a native squash i think the native taona odom uh, squash it's it's uh, planted traditionally with the irrigated rains that was a smaller one that's actually going to probably be a good tasting one uh, this is a little bit bigger one uh, from what i've read this is about the maximum size you want to have um, you see that just that flower just fell off the end so that's about ready we've got a little bit bigger one over here and this one from uh, uh, this one might actually be a little pithy um, he's just a little bit big um, but these don't normally grow in the long kind of forearm style uh, squashes that you you normally see but from what I've read you can cook them you can grill them you can put them into a squash or zucchini bread you can cut put them into a succotash uh, any of those type of things will work just fine with these so that's about it thanks for watching and uh looks like we got another little guy there and that, that guy looks pretty good uh, by the way these are are squash they're not watermelon they do have a watermelon type stripe but uh thanks for watching